All right, guys, what's going on? It's Suburban Angling, and today I am out here doing some ice fishing. Pretty obvious, right? So today I'm out here with my buddy, Eli. We do have some tip-ups in the water. We're gonna be catching tip-up fish today, but we're also gonna be focusing on the tent. I honestly don't think I'm gonna show one tip-up fish in this whole video. Like, I might catch a few, I might put those catches in a different video, but today is gonna be all in the tent, all tent fish, and I just think that's the way to do it. You know, the last two videos have been me chasing flags. Let's do me jigging up some fish, you know what I mean? So. Stay tuned, enjoy, and let's see what we can get into. You see how that one just came in like, ooh. See that little one's finally off, thank God. It's too small, G. Oh, pike. He got off right here at the hole. Dude, I was just about to pull out and give up. Dude, that sucks. It's okay, dude. He was little. Don't worry about it at That's all. That's still fun. You got to fight him. Yeah, my drag was a little loose, and he was just like... Dude, that was a demon. Let's go. He came in hot, dude. I didn't even see him on the screen. Like, you must have just seen a flash. Yeah, right? it was just a flash. He just... Dude, that's so good. Because I bought my boat in October, you know? So I got... I, like, discovered bites. Oh, Pike. Pike. Look. He, he, he just... Hit, hit, look. Jesus, mother of God, dude. Did you see what that man just did? He crushed it. It's a nice pike, too. It's like a 30, dude. Get him. <laughs> she ran right out. <laughs> Skinny 30. 31. He went and hit the camera, and then he saw the spoon. <laughs> Dude, I just watched him come in real with you. That was crazy. Aqua View eats fucking like 32 inch pike. That's a 32, easy, bro. All right, we're gonna release this pike. It's actually not a bad pike, guys. He's just not the fattest pike in the world, but dude, that's like a 33. I'm underestimating the size, dude. Look at that thing. 30, it might even, bro, that might be like a 34. He's just so skinny. I'm so used to fat pike, you know? Yeah. I'm so used to fat pike. Dude, that one I got with my buddy must have been grown. Dude, I wish I had a tape for that day. That thing was huge. Had I'm to have been 33 plus. Dude, get the f You saw that? Did he eat it? You saw that though, right? Oh, he's, dude, I just had something. How can I not see it? It's because I didn't turn the camera yet. I think, I don't even think I was in view of the camera. Kidding me, dude? That's a giant. Dude, that's like a two and a half. I just watched him just like. Well, that must have been while I was cruising around down there. Like that's like the tip up size. Yes. Dude, I was literally trying to set the. I knew he was going to bite again, you know, because the way he came in. He was on the camera right away, and then I'm literally hitting the remote button, and as I'm turning the, as I'm pressing the button, my rod tip went doink, and I just felt him smack the minnow. You know what I mean? Little bass crushed my red rosy minnow. Please don't splash everywhere, Gomez. Jesus Christ! Please don't. <laughs> Looks. Insanely beautiful. You know what I mean? Bro, I saw a documentary about Ron Lake. Oh, bass coming in. Look at him. Look, he turned instantly. Look, he about to smoke it. I knew it was going to come out of his mouth. I knew it wasn't all the way in his mouth, but I still set the hook, just kind of hoping. He missed it. Look, he's, he's going to eat this with no bait on it. Bro. <laughs> What a goofball. Was that on? No bait. On the, no you, bait. You were recording too. <laughs> Alright guys, got that. Got it on video. Fucking chungus bass. Not even a little one. Like he's not bad. There's another fish down there. He just moved the camera. He came up and he, uh, I just had to hit the cord. But he smoked my spoon with no freaking minnow on it. And then he oh, I just saw him, bro. I just saw him when you dropped him down. I just saw him go all the way to the bottom. Just zoom off. It hadn't snowed in between that, and those sled marks are like halfway filled in, you know. Yeah. Like just because of wind. Bro. I'm just gonna drop this dead stick down there, and then go reset that tip up. Ooh. Next time that tip up goes off. Oh, bass. 
Pike, Pike. actually. I want to switch the rods on my right hand for the hook set. Here's what I gotta do. Switch. Yep. Look, I knew I knew if I switched hands, he was gonna get scared. I'm smart. Like I've been through this these things. Look, he he likes the jiggle. That's a nice pike. Pike be look oh <laughs> be looking so weird from the bottom angle like that. Oh my god, you see how much fucking air he spit up? Just work him, just work him. Just work him. Oh what's a dude, why are they so big today? He didn't want to smoke. Wait, wait, I got him. I'm gonna get him. I can tell he needs to be. Oh. You little hoe. Oh, in his gills, right there. In his gills, right there. Got him. Right out. Oh, I'm in his teeth. I'm in his teeth. Which one is this? Dude, that's probably one of <gasps> Eric's the hooks. Bro. From his auto? Yeah. Remember when he broke off on a pike? Oh, that's dude. another 30, 29. Just grab the tip and just yank it. Bang. Oh, fuck me. You got it, G. It's so easy. That's another almost 30. He's 29. 28 and a half. I think he came after it, too. All right, guys. Well, you saw me catch that pike. I'll throw a few pictures of him up on the screen. I didn't really get the release, but he f splash everywhere anyway. Typical pike release. Whatever. But you saw me catch him. You saw me landing. Nice catch. Nice catch.